guys what's up Aries? thanks for watching appreciate it we're going to do a reading for the month of august we're going to break it down week by week and look at two situations from each week we're also going to get some love oracle messages from the moon your angels and ancestors for the month of august i'm going to timestamp it below so you can come back to it throughout the month all right, Aries for August. First, we're going to look at the uh, love energies, which you need to know for the month of August. You can also check out the blog down below for a little bit more insight into the month of August. We have two full moons this month. All right, Aries, you got side piece. Seeing someone on the side, I think it was Taurus that had that as well. You could be dealing with the Taurus. You also have settling, accepting less than you deserve. And children. Children are involved or will be soon. So remember, it's a general reading. Just take what's yours. But side piece, settling, and children. All right, Aries. For the month of August, from your angels and ancestors. What does Aries need to know for the month of August, please? Thank you. You have High Priestess, Harnessed Mystic Powers. You are the Queen of Wands, very intuitive. You also have Autumn, Release the Old and Rest. One more for Aries, please. You have Druid, Hold the Space. So a whole lot of spirituality around that healing, meditating, you know, connecting with angels, those around you, higher self. All right, month of August for Aries. What is the moon energy? Moon in Gemini. Taurus also had that, I believe. Stress may be an issue during this time. Or you may check where uh, Taurus is in your chart. New moon. The time is right for seeking new opportunities. And also moon and cancer. Spend time with family or helping others. Avoid situations that can be a drain on your emotions. All right, Aries. So let's just look at the month ahead and see what's coming up. See what's going on. All right, cool. So month of August for Aries, please. Week by week, two situations for each week. So remember that the energies can always be reversed. Also remember it's a general reading. So just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. All right, Aries. <clears throat> Let's look at Joe August. All right, starting with the Two of Cups and the Star. Wow, that's beautiful. Aquarius, Cancer, Energy. Whole lot of love, whole lot of wishes. Four of Swords, Page of Wands, Judgment, Knight of Pentacles. Earth Energy, got the Strength card, Leo Energy, and the Wheel. What is the overall energy for the month of August for Aries? You got the Page of Pentacles. Could be an Earth sign. Could be, um, I mean, it's something that you're you're loyal to, you're working towards. So, um, like I said, Leo energy, Earth energy. I mean, it could it could be anybody here, but it feels like there's some past issues that are kind of coming around and getting resolved. Something that you're waiting for. I mean, sorry, wishing for, hoping for. That's in motion as well, slowly but surely. Decisions being made, past issues, there's healing here, something that's got your curiosity, your excitement, but it looks like you begin to grow more towards it as the month progresses. We're going to clarify and see, um, but that's just the initial coming off of it. I just seen the emperor and the empress, so for some, you may have a divine counterpart around you. All right. All right, so first week, you got the Two of Cups, and you got the Star. 
Aquarius energy, Cancer energy. Something that you're wishing for and something, someone that you're loving. Show me that Two of Cups. There's a bond there between you and someone. The King of Wands, that's your energy. You could be dealing with another fire sign, but it feels like there's something here. Someone that you're very connected to. <laughs> Can't take both of those. You got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. There's that Two of Cups again. So something maybe kind of coming back around. Something that you're manifesting. The Six of Cups. There may have been some disconnect. The Moon, Cancer, Pisces energy. This could be hidden from you because somebody may have uh, kind of ghosted. So show me that star for the first week for Aries as well, please. Oh, you got the Judgment. You have the judgment later in the uh, in the month as well. Looks like something's being realized, something's being recognized, a decision is being made, and it's something that you hoped for. It feels like there's like past issues being cleared up that that first week. The Six of Cups. Yeah, you have strong reconciliation energy or just somebody around you that like you're very connected to, very like um, in tuned and sync. The feelings are there. It's felt on both sides. All right. So for the second week, you have the Four of Swords <laughs> twice. The Four of Swords clarified the Four of Swords literally. So... Um, that is about healing, resting, recovering, meditating, you know, kind of just taking it easy. Show me that four of swords, please. The recuperative energy. Oh, I don't want that one. You got the knight of wands. Again, that's your energy. You could be dealing with another fire sign for sure. The Seven of Pentacles. It looks like there's something that somebody's trying to go towards, but it's it's like the speed isn't there. This is like more of a daydreaming type energy. Somebody who's doing like a lot of pondering, a lot of wondering. It feels like it's related back to this energy up there the first week. Show me this page of wands, please, for Aries for the second week also. You definitely could be dealing with another fire sign or there's a whole lot of this of of your energy here which would make sense too the page of wands and the two of wands yeah see over here you have like a, a chilling relaxing kind of contemplating energy and then also at the same time you have something that you're wanting to go towards um it could come in the form of communication but it's setting things in motion over here could be choices or just something kind of progressing there. Oh, shit. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. You may be kind of doing a juggling act um, that week with your... Hold on, sorry, I dropped one. With, like, your time, your energy. Is there something over here moving a little slower? And then with the Ace of Wands and the Page of Wands, I mean, it could even be something physical. There's something there that's in called Cho Ah. All right, so for the third week, <laughs> slowing it down again. You have the Judgment and the Knight of Pentacles. You also have the Judgment the first week. So this is about making sound decisions because the first week we had that Judgment card there and it feels like somebody was kind of returning or, you know, something is moving forward in a very good kind of what you want way. And then the second week, there's something... There's that choice there again. And then the third week, the judgment again. So kind of being certain about what it is that you're going towards. The full, well, you're going towards something. The two of pentacles. It's a very fast moving energy. It's like there's two sides of things. One thing that's more slow and steady and grounded. And then this other energy that's just like, yep, I want it. It's almost like a happy childlike optimism but anyways you got the judgment the fool and the two of pentacles right. we're right back to decisions you've had decisions all month or vice versa with this knight of wands energy sometimes that can be like an in and out non-committal 
type energy, although nothing's coming up like um like check out the immediate futures throughout the month, but right now nothing's coming up like it's just like an indecisive. Like gets excited, goes straight towards it. And then again on this other side for the third week, you got the Knight of Pentacles. So it's low in the box down. Show me that Knight of Pentacles, please, for Aries. Again, Earth energy. And then you got the Death card, Scorpio energy, and the Three of Wands. Yeah, there's some weight over there as well for something. The World and the Four of Cups. There may be something over here that like you're not you're not entertaining right now. There's a whole lot of change around the situation this third week. And it really feels like you're kind of moving on from something there. Massive changes. All right. So for the fourth week, you got the strength card and the wheel. For the strength card, you got the moon and the ten of pentacles. Or sorry, ten of cups. Show me that moon. Feels like there's a lot. Yeah, check your moon sign around this time. You got somebody spying, worried, nervous, doing some looking, but not a whole lot of moving. Show me this wheel, at least in this spread. But this is more like generalized than an immediate future. All right, you got the Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Which goes back to the slow and steady, more down to earth, the two of cups. The same car we started with. So, um, give me one more for that fourth week, two of cups, the five of swords. There's more of a stubborn energy over here. Um, be mindful who you're telling your business to, but it feels like you're kind of closing the chapter on something by the end of the month. You got somebody over here watching, but while the feelings are still here with this type of energy, it's more, you know, not just going to easily forgive more of a, like I said, a, a stubborn as far as the way of thinking and getting that the shift is a little bit more different. All right, Aries, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. Also, you can check out the blog down there as well. You guys take care, and I will see you next time. Bye.